we were talking about the Pythagorean theorem, lesson one, finding a leg. Oh no, we're looking for uh, the hypotenuse. The homework that goes to this is in the same packet, page seven and eight, for even up to 14. And this is all the other information for the year uh, 2016. Okay, you are on page two in the new packet. Okay, the Pythagorean theorem is a formula that relates to three legs in a right triangle. It is named after a guy named Pythagoras. He figured out this relationship. Now, we need, you need to know this. A right triangle, Pythagorean theorem only works on a right triangle. The two legs, or the two sides, that form the right angle are called one. This is a leg. This is a leg. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. In a right triangle, the legs are denoted with the letters A and B. You can put A here and B here, or A here and B here. It doesn't matter. The legs are A and B. The hypotenuse is C. Hypotenuse has to be C. And in a, in a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. You need to memorize that. You need to know that these two sides that form the right triangle, right angle are called legs, and they're A and B, and the one that is opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Now, what is special about the hypotenuse? It is the longest side of a right triangle. It is located across from the right angle. Now, how do we know that it is the longest side? Well, let's look at this. We know that the three angles in a triangle add up to 180. In a right triangle, this is 90. So don't the other two together have to be 90? So the side opposite the right angle, which is going to be the biggest angle, because these two together have to be 90, is going to be the longest side. Because think about it, this side is spread further apart, or this angle is further apart than either one of those angles. All right. There's the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And again, look, the two legs are called A and B. Hypotenuse is called C. So, it says, find the hypotenuse. Well, here's a way to ask. We are looking for C. I'm going to call this A and this C. So, to find any missing sign, write down the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I substitute. A is 3, so 3 squared plus B is 4, 4 squared equals, we don't know what C is, we're looking for that, so I keep it C squared. Simplify it. You've got to do exponents before you add. So 9 plus 16 equals C squared. 9 plus 16 is 25 equals C squared. Now, we have not solved any equations like this. We do not want to solve for C squared. We want to solve for C. So, remember, when you're solving equations, you can do anything you want as long as you do it to both sides. So, we're going to take the square root. The square root of c squared is c. The square root of 25 is 5. So, the hypotenuse is 5 centimeters. All right. Here we go. Find c. So, they gave us a and b. We're looking for c. Again, write down the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Substitute. A is 6, so 6 squared plus B is 8. We're looking for C. Squared is 36 plus 64 equals C squared. 36 plus 64 is 100 equals C squared. Take the square root of both sides. C is 2. Now, in this box, there are what we call Pythagorean triples. These are classic Pythagorean, they're triangles that have a, a right triangle relationship. 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13. I don't think there is any reason to memorize these, but look, if you did, you would know 6, 8, 10. Actually, it's not listed because that's just the 
multiple or not. All right. The legs of a right triangle are equal. Given the length of the leg, find the length of the hypotenuse. Hint, draw a picture. Go. These are the two legs. And it says they are equal and they are five. So I'm going to put that. Those two hashes show me that they are equal. This leg is five. This leg is five. We are looking for the hypotenuse, C. So I'm going to call this A and this C. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A is 5, so 5 squared plus C is 5 squared equals C squared. K, square these, 25 plus 25 equals C squared. 50 equals C squared. Take the square root. So C is, now let's go back to what we did earlier this year. We know that the square root of 49 is 7. So this is probably going to be about 7.1 because it's a little bit bigger. But you can use your calculator and you will get um, 7.1. I am missing a problem here in your notes. It says, how can I determine if a triangle is a right triangle? This is right above the one we just did. Is it a triangle with sides 4, 5, and 9? They're asking us, is this a right triangle? Okay, so we need, if it is a right triangle, these sides are going to be related using the Pythagorean theorem. Because that is true in every right triangle. And 9 would have to be C. How do we know that? Because the hypotenuse is the longest side. So let's see. 4 squared plus 5 squared, does that equal 9 squared? Well, let's do this. 16 plus 25, 9 squared is 81. 16 plus 25 is 41. 41 does not equal 81, so it is not a right triangle. Let's check this one. Ten, six, and eight. They want us to know is this a right triangle? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This will have to be c. I should not have put that little right angle in there. Why does ten have to be c? Because it's the longest. I'm going to call this a and this b. So six squared plus eight squared equals ten squared. Let's see. Thirty-six plus sixty-four. 136 plus 64 is 100. So is this a right triangle? Yes. A right triangle. Alright. Now. The height of a right cylinder is 5. And the diameter of its base is 4. So the diameter goes the whole way across. What is the distance from the center of one base to a point on the circumference of the other? So we are looking for this distance from here to here. What else can I do? A right triangle. If this whole diameter is 4, what will this be? Well, it'll be half of it will be 2. So I'm looking for this question mark. Now, look at that right triangle. I'm going to call this A and this B because they're the two legs. We are looking for C. So, let's write our formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, I will have 2 squared plus 5 squared equals, we don't know what C is. 4 plus 25 equals C squared. That's 29 equals C squared. Take the square root of both sides and C equals, now look, the square root of 29. We can leave our answer written like that. It's C. Or you can use your calculator and you'll get 5.3. Sandy jogged through the park. She jogged three miles east and then turned and jogged three, five miles south. If she were jogged straight back to her starting point, how much farther would she need to jog? Well, let's write, draw a diagram. So here's Sandy. She's right here. She goes three miles east. So this is 
she turns and goes five miles south. South is straight down, so there's a right angle. Right, right here's where she is. They said if she goes straight back to her starting point, how far will she jog? Let's see. Okay, this is a right triangle. These are my two legs. A and B. 